Sister, good day all. Gather ye the fragments that are left, that nothing be lost. This is the motto of the Federation of Old Cornwall Societies. Its aim is to collect, record and share information about the heritage and culture of Cornwall. As the current president of the Federation of Old Cornwall Societies, I'm proud to be part of the launch of our new website. We can share Cornwall's traditions, unique culture, its language and dialect, and our care for the environment in the digital age on the World Wide Web. The Federation also publishes many books and pamphlets, and an online shop is included on the website. I'm fortunate enough to live in the parish of Perrinsabulo, where St Piran landed from Ireland. Here he built his oratory, or praying place, which is where I am standing today. When St Piran's oratory became buried in the sand during a storm, a second church was built nearby. There's a Celtic cross which shows the traveller where to find it. The size of the church shows that people before this church was also buried in sand. Another third church was then built in 1804, further inland, away from the stormy seas. 2020 would have been the year we celebrated the centenary of the Old Cornwall movement. As so many events have been cancelled, it is wonderful that we can launch our new website to share our work worldwide. Colonel Goth or Old Cornwall welcomes all those who truly care for Cornwall's distinctiveness. I hope you enjoy exploring our website. Onumguela, all the best. Muir asked Karen for that introduction, launching a new Federation Kurno Goth website. We will, throughout this launch video, use our Cornish language Kanuik in referring to the Old Cornwall movement. The use of Kanuik is growing and it is important that we as a movement dedicated to the preservation and sharing of Cornwall's historic, cultural and environmental heritage reflect that in our own website. Hence the Federation's website will now be www.kernogoth.org. Our homepage also reflects that with a bilingual introduction. During this unprecedented year, it is important to remain positive and look at the activities that have added to our lives. The growth in use of digital programmes that are used to preserve, share and communicate is also unprecedented. The idea to utilise the time during lockdown to proactively move forward in Kerno Goth's role by improving the Federation's digital output seemed an opportunity not to be missed. As Publicity Officer for the Federation for over the past two years, I have encouraged our Kerno Goth societies to utilise social media to a far greater extent, to share their own local knowledge and promote their own activities. I am pleased to say we have now reached 50% of Kerno Goth societies now on Facebook and some with other social media outlets as well. The ongoing success of this is reflected in some of the pages included on the new Kerno Goth website. Thank you to all those societies who have sent me information and to the many other contributors who have allowed their own research, collections and other content to be shared. So, let's have a brief overview of the new Kerno Goth website. The framework is in place for much more to be added and there are a number of new features that will prove useful in sharing events and news as well as preserving and sharing many aspects of Cornwall's wide-ranging heritage. The Kerno Goth homepage has pictorial links to many sections that make up the website and includes space to promote new projects or partnerships. A new feature is the calendar that will show events by our societies, affiliate groups and other Cornish organisations. This is also reflected in further reminder section, both of which are searchable. There will be a direct input form available to those authorised to do so. Our Cornish Heritage and Culture section has 18 groupings. There is still a huge amount to add to these from newly submitted material and from our existing website. This shows a clip from our archaeology section on Cornish crosses and how most of the images throughout the whole site can be expanded to better view them. 
Within this section will be podcasts, vodcasts and videos, many from our own societies. These will cover a huge swathe of Cornwall's heritage and we hope that many will take the opportunity to add new material covering everything from history to poetry. Possibly one of the most important features of the new website is that each society will have its own website section and this should be as extensive as possible with interesting content from their part of Cornwall. We hope in time the examples shown here will encourage other societies to take up new activities and also share material with the website. So let's look at our Kerno Goth Liscard Society's pages. There will be an introductory page that shares basic information about the society and images of the town or village. This will include the society's offices, banner image, colours, forthcoming programme events and other introductory information. The links to any social media and other pages are at the top. The link Our Archives pro provides the links to the other society's pages. Society events and meetings, this is information about meetings and society events. Heritage events and projects shows projects that the society has been involved with. Preserving and sharing knowledge is about how the society has preserved and shared knowledge. Preserving and sharing knowledge through social media, these are research articles that have already been shared on their social media pages such as Facebook. The shop is a very important part of Kerno Goth, not just selling books published by us, but also a wide range of others relating to Cornwall. It has been very successful and this makeover will enhance the opportunities to increase sales through improved searchability. This will be rolled out over the next few weeks whilst the existing shop remains open. External Links continues to share links to like-minded groups within Cornwall that help to promote and share information and knowledge about Cornish heritage. The new website will provide greater opportunities to do this and to also work and support others. Although there is much more to talk about, the final section to mention here is the archive. In the past, much material has been removed from the website to make room for new. Here we want to keep as much of that as possible which may be of interest and used to research or as a reminder of events far into the future. This will cover our Kerno Goth activities but also others that relate to many past Cornish events. After all, Kerno Goth is about gather the fragments that are left that nothing be lost. Muras.